Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to integrate an IR device to Home Assistant. Uh, you can see this is my mobile phone, and I can press this fan uh, for on and turn off. So this will be very easy, and this video, I will show you the easiest way to add the IR device to Home Assistant. This is very simplest, simplest. So I will use this video as an example for this is my fan. And also we will look at how to integrate to the air condition very easily. And here you can see I have installed the Home Assistant on the King Kong Server Mini version. So this is a Raspberry Pi 4 computer. And now let's look at this computer, the Home Assistant dashboard. I have created this button, but actually we need to go to this AG device web page. So that is case 86 AG because if you want to learn any IR device, you just uh, need to click uh, this IR web page and to learning the signal. Also, the AG support learning the IF signal. So you can learn IF and IR signal uh, to the AG. You can see I have learning the first ID that is turned on and turn off the fan. And the first, this is the first step. And the second, we need to find out the HTTP command, so that we can integrate the Home Assistant by this RESTful command. So that will be very easy. Just this three sentence in YAML file. And after you learn, the ID is one. So you can see our Kinkoni KCS firmware, and this is HTTP command, and just this file. And you will find how to send the IR signal by HTTP command. And this also can send to IF command. This video, I will show you how to send by IR. So you can see uh, just one sentence I have copied at here. So this is your board IP address, uh, this gateway IP address. So you can see uh, that is this IP address. And this is command, CMD command, run IR. The ID is one. So this ID is one. So I can feel this one. If I learn in the second, and I can change the ID to two. And this not need to change. And this is secret. The secret, just a password of your protocol. You can see here, the protocol generate. And we can enable the HTTP protocol. And this is secret ABCD. So I have feel this ABCD. If you input this in one, two, three, and so that you can input is one, two, three. So just as soon as you're setting in web page. And I, I'm not changed. So this is A, B, C, D. And this command, you can see I can copy and paste to test. You can open web browser and just paste it here. And, and you will see the fan is on. So this command is working, no problem. And at last, we can turn off. And when you confirm this HTTP command, and the last, you can see here, just in your Home Assistant, File Edit, and configure your YAML file, you can see here, I just create this REST command, the fan HTTP, this is your name, and this is URL, just the one one sentence. And if you have second button, I will create it later. I will show you how to create it very easily. And this is the first one. So then you can go to the dashboard overview, dashboard, and you can edit dashboard. And this, I have created this card just for a button. So you can see, I can edit this card. You can see, I can just tap action call service. That is then HTTP, I have create in YAML file. So that can be very easily just this three step and learning and get the HTTP command and create the button on dashboard will be very easy. Okay, now let's I will show you how to add a button to Home Assistant. Just we were learning uh, these directions, this button for directions. So the first you can see, I can go to this web page and click uh, this IR. And this time we need to learn in the second ID. 
okay successfully and we can close and the transmit I turn on the fan and now you can see I can click this transmit so this will be turning the directions and I can you can see it's turning then I can click transmit and it will be stop and click again that will be uh, turning again so this have rendered the second ID to this gateway so that I can use this HTTP command now you can see I can create this HTTP command just a copy and paste I only need to change the ID is 2 so this is 2 and any other else not needed to change and this is change directions fan so you can see I can copy this command to home assistant YAML file uh, let's turn off the fence I can go to here and this I can also copy and uh, paste this I can fan direct direction uh, this HTTP command and I also need to change this is tool so this is send the second command I command I can press save and you can press this restart home assistant because every change uh, for the YAML file we need to reboot of the home assistant you can see now is the reconnection to home assistant and after we create this HTTP service we just go to the dashboard and create this button okay now you can see the home assistant is started and now we can go to the overview dashboard you can see here let's look at how to create the second button you can click at dashboard and click at the card and just click at the button because this button is customer size and we can choose the name fan direction or fan turning and this just use tap action just click and call service and the service we can input fan you can see this is the fan direction we have created so we just click this way and click save so you can see I can click down the second button is create so I can click this button to turn on and click this button you can see the fan will be turning and then click again the fan is turning so this is very easy to create the customer button for your any IR device in home assistant okay this is the easiest way for fan and for the uh, TV uh, just uh, learn and send learn and send let's tell you how to create the air condition uh, learning the air condition button to home assistant is also very easy so we can just also use this way you can see I can go to this AG of page and the third I just want to turn on the air condition so you can see I can click learning and press this button and it should successfully and I can press this transmit and you can see my air condition I click this transmit and this will be B now we're learning the turn off you can see I can press learning button and press this button okay we can choose close and click transmit you can see I also have a sound so that is learning successfully now I will show you okay okay let's test the air condition you can see if I press transmit turn on and you can see the air condition is open and I click this turn off and you can see the air condition the light LED is off so you, this you can see I can learn the IR condition uh, for on and for off just this button is for on and off and you can learn any button of the air condition so also I can use this way you can see I just copy and paste at this uh, this HTTP command so you can see I uh, just to 
lines uh, this is number three and this is number four and then number three is AC air condition on and the number four is AC air condition off so now in home assistant and fill edit just copy and paste it here and I can here on and this is here off and this command id is 3 and this command id is 4 so we can press save and click this one and restart home assistant press yes okay it started we can click overview and the dashboard and edit the dashboard to add a card you can see add a card and the press button and this time AC on, AR on and call service and the service is AC is AR you can see here AR on and also you can change your icon you can see the AR uh, sound air device uh, we just click and press save and maybe another card is off so air condition off and also tap action call service and air is off this HTTP command and you can press save and now let's test this is AG board and you can see that is air condition so this have about some meters the muscles support 8 meters so you can see I press this button on home assistant the AC is on on the dashboard and I can press this button the AC air condition is off so now you can create these two buttons for air condition in this edge gateway you can see there are so many uh, IR transmit so that will send a signal from different directions so almost uh, the cover the range is covered all the room so that will be uh, when useful you can put this box in anywhere even if you can see uh, this is my fan so you can see if I cover this this box I can press this fan on, it also will be on. And the press again, this will be off. So this plastic shoe uh, will transmit and go through the IR signal. So if if I can just use this way and turn on the fan and turn off the fan and it's no problem. So use this way, you can learn the IR signal uh, to the box and send it by HTTP command integrated to Home Assistant very easily. And in future video, I will show you how to learning this RF signal to the box and also you can send this by this HTTP command this way very easily. And also you can use RF remote uh, to control your air condition, is no problem. Okay, thanks for watching.